As part of a Masters of Architecture degree at Victoria University of Wellington, a year-long research study has been undertaken to determine the potential capacity of the architect to reduce and eliminate end-of-life building waste. It is foreseen that by planning and designing for the disassembly of buildings at the end of their useful lives, the quantity of waste produced by this industry can be dramatically reduced. This research has been generously supported by the New Zealand Institute of Buildings Charitable Trust, Carter Holt Harvey, Makers of Architecture and Victoria University of Wellington. Resulting from numerous preliminary tests and developments, a highly efficient, expandable modular structural plywood system has been developed to enable the direct reuse of all building components. The structural system facilitates material reuse and reduces waste by allowing timber framing elements, building linings, surfaces and cladding components to be laid independently, effectively eliminating the need for adhesives and single-use fixings. Highly optimised, multi-purpose components assemble to create a rigid structural system capable of acting as the floor, walls or ceiling. The X-Frame system integrates capacity for a simple, reversible and modulated fixing of flooring finishes, eliminating the hundreds of screws we would typically use to fix sheet flooring materials to a timber frame. The key module within the system has been developed across a series of full-scale tests and refined in a way that enables it to be used throughout the building without further customizations. Computer numerically controlled precision fabrication eliminates typical light timber frame construction tolerances and results in a more accurate and precise structural frame. Simplification refinements result in an assembly technique that is appropriate for low skilled labor and requires only low cost hand tools. The self brace structure requires only two differently shaped flooring sheets to create a tiled flooring finish capable of supporting light commercial floor loads. At 900mm intervals and at every other structural intersection, there is capacity for the reversible fixing of vertical and horizontal load resisting structural members. Essentially, at any point within the finished floor area, a door, window, column or wall could be added without the need for supplementary fixings. The optimization of individual modules within the assembly has resulted in a continuity of components and assembly methods throughout all building elements. This continuity speeds up the assembly time by repeating the way in which different building pieces are joined together. Optimizations and jointing operations also means that the assembly becomes self-correcting, pulling each inverted frame into alignment while also correcting for any deformations. Detailing at the perimeter of the frame to absorb any offset and ensure a rigid seismic and gravity load resistant connection has been achieved through the use of a folded steel bracket. Although this bracket is not structurally necessary, the more durable material reduces the likelihood of damage to the plywood components near the connection. This structural steel bracket also helps to retain stiffness through multiple reuse cycles. Again, the repetitive assembly process facilitates rapid construction and deconstruction. The low level of learning required to understand the way in which inverted structures interlock to create a rigid diaphragm further emphasizes reuse potential. A range of alternative corner solutions were tested to ensure the final iteration limits the amount of damage possible in each use cycle. Folded metal brackets have been used where high levels of strain are expected and as a consequence the number of reuse cycles for each component has been extended significantly. Design detailing of the span components enables redundancy and the seamless, multi-directional expansion of all vertical elements without the need for additional jointing members. This integrated approach to system design extends to how the exterior waterproof linings are adhered to the building. Bolted into pre-cut holes and designed to eliminate the need for adhesives, screws, sealant tape or silicon, the proposed cladings are incapable of producing waste material in any part of their life cycle. This bolted detail enables rapid assembly and disassembly of the cladding while facilitating water drainage and ventilation. A visual rain screen or cladding finish can also be fixed onto the bolted connection above the principal waterproof layer. The X-Frame system is designed to work for all principal building elements and can therefore span up to 5 meters with less than 5 millimeters of deflection. The module design also means that when assembling the frame at height Lifting weights are significantly reduced versus that of typical overhead loads in light timber frame construction. 
The assembly process requires readily available low skilled hand tools that can be safely operated at all heights while the arrangement of structural components eliminates awkward use of these tools. For the purposes of this prototype, 17mm thick untreated structural plywood courtesy of Carter Holt Harvey has been used. Plywood is a readily available, low carbon, quickly renewable, reliable and cost effective sheet product. It allows us to effectively manage any waste material as all outputs are easy to handle and not heavily contaminated. In the horizontal plane the frame remains self-correcting, with durable mortise and tenon joints helping to transfer tension and compression loadings. The 600mm modulated frame accepts off-the-shelf insulation products while also integrating capacity for the fixing free and reversible articulation of surfaces. A single, dimensional, structural expandable modular grid for ill building elements demonstrates the superiority of the X-Frame system over other alternative structural systems intended for reuse. Economically, this system excels by providing an entirely reusable, non-determinate, flexible frame that is cost effective to fabricate. Adding to the economic success of the system is the optimised grid proportions. The diagrid geometry establishes a 900mm point-to-point -point module that translates into a 600mm division for panelling. This converts into maximum levels of use of the available sheet materials with the least efficient patterns operating at less than 11% waste. The 900mm grid is suitable for conventional doorway openings and can be further modulated with the introduction of only one new component. For even greater levels of flexibility and integration with existing construction techniques, the spacing between boundary plywood plates has been set at 90mm. This allows standard structural framing timber to be bolted and woven throughout the reusable X-Frame system. Jointing members have been optimised for maximum strength while simultaneously using minimal materials. Although it appears as if this geometry produces more scrap material, waste is actually reduced by utilising the material more efficiently. This process is in its infancy, but represents a coordinated attempt to close the waste loop by generating demand for all surplus material. Leftover material from the CNC fabrication process is uncontaminated and easy to manage in factory conditions. This material is collected into bulk quantities at the source to maximise cost efficiencies and then processed using low input, non-contaminating methods. The shredded timber can then be mixed with other natural and low carbon materials to create valuable products. A combination of chipped plywood, pine resin and charcoal dust results in a waterproof sheet material while the combination of wood chips and a natural uncompressed clay produces a brittle insulation block. The more intensive but ultimately more successful output is the combination of wood chips, hydrated lime powder and charcoal dust to create an inherently stable, fireproof insulation block that can act as a thermal mass modulator and moisture vapour barrier. Major progress has been made in designing a building method with the potential to all but eliminate end of life building waste. The proposed design essentially lays the platform for a circular materials economy in the building industry. X-Frame totally eliminates the use of compromised materials and reduces the amount of effective waste produced in a building's life cycle by almost 96%. X-Frame is an unconventional and radical solution to the waste problem. It is the result of a relentless pursuit of efficiency and reusability. It is a small, yet significant step towards a truly sustainable architecture.